There are many very annoying characters in Mortal Kombat 1 to fight against for multiple different reasons, whether it be their frame data, their mix-up game, or just their overall entire moveset that can be just so frustrating to go up against. But who are the top five most annoying characters to fight in Mortal Kombat 1? Today I answer that question in my humble opinion, so without further ado, let's get into it. This is in no particular order, these are just my top five characters that I find to be the most annoying to go up against. And to start off the list here, I have Sindel. Though I love Sindel as a character, she's one of the very few characters that has the scream move and the reason why that move is so important in her kit is because it actually restands her opponent or you if you are the opponent and that is such an amazing tool to have for any character because it's a restand meaning they can like just hit you in the air and then just scream and then you're restanded rather than doing a hard knockdown and that opens you up for a combo extension or she can just let that reset and go in for the mix-up game which she's got a pretty good one too she's got some crazy stuff going on with the scream be able to restand you go for the mix-up game or just continue the combo she's got some lows that don't look like lows she's got crazy air game she's one of the characters that's a bit hard to master but once you do oh my gosh it's insane next on my list is reiko somebody said hey let's go ahead and make a grappler character in a fighting game which is which is very common there's a lot of grapplers in a lot of fighting games obviously but then they said let's go ahead and give this grappler an amazing projectile and i don't mean a projectile is like one projectile i mean a projectile that can break armor because it's like what two or three hits so it breaks armor off the bat and then if you enhance it's also a mid so you can't duck it like you could the normal version and he's a grappler so it's like you got a good projectile in case you need it or they want to abuse it and if you get in their face who's gonna grab your ass he's also got really good reaching normals that can go into the command grab he can extend those with the right cameo reiko's an absolute beast and though again i love him Sometimes I hate it. Okay, I know a lot of you guys are gonna comment down below. Well, he's so easy to deal with, but Smoke is on my list. I see your point when you're saying he's a bit easier to deal with once you understand his moveset, but even then, he's a freaking menace. They gave a grappler like Reiko projectiles, and then they turned around and gave Smoke a single character every goddamn mix that they possibly could. They're like, hey, give him a low overhead. Give him overhead low. Give his specials a low. Give him overheads. Give every single string this mother heifer has and put a lower overhead in it. And holy shit, is it crazy. He's got his kicks that can break armor on wake up. He can go invisible, so you have no idea what he's gonna do or where he's at. He can cancel out of his smoke dash to continue a combo. We'll go for the mix up. Smoke in the right hands is absolutely insane. And yeah, I find it more annoying than not. I am a rated main and I have been for years and years and years. So it hurts me a little bit to be honest here, but I will put Raiden on this list. Raiden's got really good damage, but the thing that makes him most annoying, in my opinion, to fight against is two things. He's basically safe on every single string he's got. So it can be really hard to find that window. That sliver of a window where you can take your turn back and not only that but like smoke like other characters he has the storm cell which is an armor breaking move and it does really good chip damage so essentially if he's got you in the corner and he reads your armor wake up he's gonna storm cell so it breaks the armor and if you're close to death well just storm cell will just kill you on chip even with the last breath mechanic storm cell will kill you and that can be really frustrating and for those that don't know storm cell the move is all mids so you can't duck him or anything like that you're forced to deal with it again i love raiden so much but i can understand he's really frustrated ready to deal with and i know i said in no particular order but i gotta say this last one here probably is the top of the cake here and that is johnny cage johnny cage like raiden is pretty damn safe on almost everything he's got he's got a really good string 50 50 meaning it can go overhead or low you gotta react or read really fast so he's got great mix up game in my opinion and then on top of that if you fight a johnny cage that knows how to use his hype meter it's a wrap it's game over pack your bags go home because man that hype meter takes everything he's got and times it by 10 his strings his specials his combo potential you add a cameo into the mix with him not that he really needs a cameo but once he does damn it's so good but also so annoying some honorable mentions on my list is kenshi i just hate getting pressured back to back or should i say front to back with kenshi and sento it's literally like fighting two characters and it can be so hard another honorable mention is Liu kang Liu kang is a really good zoner and that can be very frustrating to begin with by itself he's got armor breaking kicks kind of like smoke he's plus on a lot of strings and just overall good damage a good Liu kang will absolutely ruin your day these are just my most annoying characters that i find guys let me know down below which characters in mortal kombat 1 do you find the most annoying and why subscribe here for more mortal kombat content and go ahead and click into these videos next for more news guides and more